Peace guys and welcome to a new video. Today we're watching The Greatest Showman. I already seen this movie but I absolutely love it and um, yeah so I thought I'm gonna rewatch it with you. <laughs> also fair warning it's a lot of singing in this movie and to those of you who those of you who've seen my Encanto reaction know that I love to sing with w the songs with them um, but I just can't for the life of me. So <laughs> there's probably going to be some singing in this episode. Um, so I'm already very sorry for your ears. Uh, but you'll be, you, you'd be you'd been warned. So yeah, now's the time to get out. <laughs> Otherwise, um, let's just jump straight into the movie. Let's go. Wow. And we're just starting off with the song. Hell yeah. To be fair, this outfit is awesome. Like, damn. Huge Jackman really, this outfit really fits Huge, Huge Jackman. It like compliments him. It's a really nice outfit. I understand, yes, thank you. Ah, it's his imagination. I made her laugh. Well, thank you for your honesty. Asshole. Not all the sunshine and roses with the rich people either. How'd you get out? The window. Like Laurel like Gilmore. Those who know know. I close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me. Yeah, like if you're doing a musical, then do a musical. <laughs> I love it. I just love all the songs, they are so great. They've, she's been gone? That's so sad. Oh, but she's reading his letters. Yeah, nice. At least no one takes away his letters. <laughs> like, they do that sometimes in movies and I'm like so mad about that all the time. Oh my god, his father's dead. <laughs> yeah, what else is he going, uh, is he supposed to do? And then there are like the weird people that just like help him. Yeah, it's mostly the, most of the time like the people that have like the least that have like nearly as nothing are the most are the ones that are most generous. It really is like that. And he never stopped dreaming. That's so that's so awesome. It's so awesome that they like never really lost connection. Took running back home. <sighs> Rich people. Sorry to all the rich people out there. <laughs> Maybe you are terribly portrayed in newbies. Who knows? Nice dancing. Oh. Well, that seemed dangerous. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, that seemed like really dangerous. <laughs> like, I know it's choreographed, but like, they want to tell us like that is not choreographed, right? So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Ah, <laughs> oh, she pregnant! Yeah, I mean, he came from like a really small home to like living on the street with having nothing to like this apartment. Like, I'm pretty sure this apartment is cheap. <laughs> like, it's also not the grandest thing ever, but like it's probably middle class, I would say. <laughs> so he made his way already. <laughs> That's impressive. I thought the company had a dozen trading ships. Yes, at the bottom of the South China Sea. Oh, yay. But I have everything I want. What about the magic? How do you call those two girls? Yeah. Like, she's happy. She doesn't need more. Why would a bank loan us $10,000? <laughs> because he scammed them. <laughs> Because he stole from his old um, company and made them things that the trading vessels that this old company had was not underground <laughs> and were his. <laughs> Dear, we don't have any collateral. I'm sure we do. In the South China Seas. In the South China Seas. Deep in the South China Seas. <laughs> from the plains of Africa. And look at that. <laughs> Oh right, he first started, uh, tried to do like, a museum. 
Like, was a museum really your dream? I don't think so. You should follow your dream, darling. Follow your dream, and it was not a museum. You need something alive. Yeah. Smart kids. I see a soldier, no, a general, riding across the stage with a sword and a gun and, and, and the most beautiful uniform ever made. People will come from all over the world, and when they see him, they won't laugh. They'll salute. Oh, that's how you sell stuff. <laughs> I would even say beautiful. <laughs> Sir, please leave me alone. They're like curiosities just because like they're different. Most of them probably just have like a, a gene def defect or something. It's a little bit more tolerant today, but let's be honest. It's still not normal and fine today and probably still love uh, many people probably still treat people unique people <laughs> people with gene defects and st stuff that like look different still that way or at least not like they treat everyone else need to see it. <laughs> they just has tattoos basically He's really big. I love it. <laughs> He's trying to be bigger. Milk bottles everywhere they look. Barnum's American Museum. Look, yeah, he knows how to do marketing. <laughs> everywhere they look. Yeah, and he actually got the costume that he dreamed of as a boy. That's a compliment, guys. <laughs> That's what it looks like when your dreams come true. <laughs> He must be so satisfied while uh, right now putting this thing on. <laughs> like at at this moment, like he's only doing it for the money and because like he knows it's gonna make him famous. But like in the end, he's he's giving people that were alone and were hiding in the shadows. Like he's giving them a face. He's and he's giving them. A family and also like a place where they can like be who they are which is really beautiful I mean he's doing it out of the wrong motives but like he's still doing it criminal degrading surface I like surface I like circus <laughs> that's terrible like they're, they're just they're just fighting them and not, not even fighting them, they're attacking them because they are different from birth. That's... I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I know it's like, we w should hate it. That's the movie. What's the movie for? But like, I, 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 still, I, it's working. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> ah, yeah. That, that guy said uh, criminal and stuff. And I know that today, like, uh, curiosities and stuff like that, they're like outlawed. Pretty sure about that. That they get outlawed really soon because like it's degrading for the people but at the same time yeah it is but also before that they were hiding in the shadows so not hiding in the shadows anymore but it's like they do it this is their own decision to do to go, get out there in front of the people you know so he's not making them he's actually paying them for that so i mean yeah it's still not awesome put freaks out there in the spotlight uh, to make people like laugh at them and to get people to like look at them because it's like it's just wrong but at the same time before that they were hiding in the shadows and people were laughing at them behind their backs and now that it, they're like okay, he, he's i mean he's doing it out of the wrong reasons but like they have a, a home they have friends they get a family uh, not only friends they get kind of a family that they get a place where they can be themselves and they also kind of get to celebrate who they are you know because like those people they get go there to see them and yeah they go there to see them because like of curiosity and because they look different because like we it's like looking at a car crash like for them you know that's the adrenaline that they get so that's the reason that they go there but at the same time they, they are kind of celebrating people and th those people get like who they are they get they get basically celebrated for that because like the people are 
went uh, went insane. You saw that, you know? <laughs> and like it's a, it's in a really really wrong way, but at the same time it's got to be a step up from um hiding in the shadows and being ashamed and um everyone laughing at them behind their backs, you know? It's got to be a step up. <laughs> um that's my my opinion. I mean, you can put your opinion to that in the comments. Um but like I think that must be a step up. I mean, if you think I'm wrong, change my mind in the comments. But, uh, like, I don't know what it's like to be, like, them in that time. So I can't really speak from experience. But, like, that's what I think. So if you have further insight, please enlighten me in the comments. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's so obvious that, like, the people were attacking them because they are different. That was just the reaction. Now they're going into the spotlight instead of, instead of hiding in the shadows. And they're getting some spotlight, and um, people don't like that. It makes people afraid. I don't know why. I don't know why the fuck it's the, their business. I have no idea. But that they they are kind of threatening the sta status quo. You know what I mean? By like not no longer hiding in the shadows, but like get, getting into the spotlight. So people get afraid, and they act out and start attacking people for just like being different. But yeah, <laughs> let's keep watching the movie. <laughs> I love it how he's basically like, you put, um, the, the press is printing like shit about them and like, um, they are, like he put, takes all the bad stuff that they say about him and all the bullying stuff and stuff that is supposed to like put him down and hurt him and he like makes his own and makes it like his, his, his thing, you know? <laughs> and even put, like, a crown on his head with, like, the shit they said about him. <laughs> I love it! That's how you handle that, guys. That's how you handle something like that. I think there's enough fun just in my life. <laughs> well, isn't that what makes it fun? Oh, zebras! <laughs> they are zebras! Not horses, but zebras. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, he made all of his dreams come true. Don't tell me you bought this house just to rub my parents' <laughs> Well, that wasn't the only reason. But it was definitely one of them, and I totally get it. <laughs> be petty, it's fine. You were always nice, and they were always mean, so you can be petty now, that's fine. New York society will never accept us. If they did, they'd have to stop judging and actually do something with their lives. <laughs> I love it! I love it! It's the truth, and I love it! <laughs> Uh, they they never they never accept them. But if they did, they need would st have to stop judging and actually do something with their lives. It is true. And that's the best explanation of haters I've ever heard. Can I buy you a drink? He's smart. He's gonna. He's now gonna get someone on the show that like New York society accepts to get also acceptable people in the play in the show. So that maybe it would get like a little bit easier for his daughters and also he would get like a little bit taken a little bit more serious. It's smart. He 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 he's smart. You have to give him that. Like he is really smart. Oh, free man. oh I love this song. Right here, right now, I put the offer out. I don't wanna kiss you down. I know you see it. You run with me. And I can cut you free out of the treachery and walls you keep in. You wanna get away from that? Oh, what are you gonna plan? Uh, I love this song. And I also love like the dance and the rhythm they have in it. I love it. So thanks, but no, I think I'm good to go. Cause I quite enjoy the life you say I'm trapped in. Yeah, that's why you're like sitting there alone in a bar. It's like you're sitting there alone in a bar and drinking by yourself. <laughs> ah, I love this dance. This was also a thing on TikTok for a while, right? They did like that uh, that dance on TikTok for a while. With like props and everything. I th think I saw something like that on TikTok. If I were mixed up with you, I'd be the talk of the town. Disgraced and disowned another one of the clowns But you would finally live a little Yeah, who cares what other people say? It's a deal that seems worth taking But I guess I'll leave that up to you 
Now he's kind of convinced. Sir, looks like you have yourself a junior partner. What I have is an overcompensated apprentice. <laughs> what I have is an overcompensated apprentice. <laughs> Yeah, and there you just met the love of your life. <laughs> of course they get pitchforks and fire, cause they don't like it, so they want it out of the town. <sighs> it's always like that, isn't that? Isn't it? Yeah, and all the snobs in New York reading me does their thinking for them. Whatever happened to thriving off controversy? <laughs> yeah, well, a little controversy is like really good for business, cause like it gets the other people to you and gives you like attention but like if it keeps going and it's get into get gets into like a lot of hate and it gets so bad that like there are crowds standing in front of like the circus with pitchforks and f f fire stick thingies i sorry i forgot the english word for that <laughs> like if that was happening then the then it gets like bad for business because then people will get actually get a f be afraid to come and to very very that much from like the general opinion so they won't come anymore also they will be afraid to like get treated as the free freaks are getting treated um so they won't come anymore so then it's bad for business <laughs> it's a fine line <laughs> and they just went to the wrong side of it. <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> well, that's what he wanted to say before someone else came in. You're even smaller than I imagined. Well, you're not exactly reaching the top shelf yourself, sweetie. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> she loves it too. <laughs> Your box? No, box, no, 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 no. It's a bit visible. Visible? Yeah. Too visible. Now he wants to hide them again in the shadows. Like, see, that's like his flaw. Like, he just did all of that for fame and for making a name of himself. And um, that comes out now. Because, like, everything else, like them finding a family, them being in the spotlight and finding a life for them and not hiding any in the shadows anymore, like, actually starting to get proud of, kind of proud of themselves, you know? Or at least not be, like, as ashamed of themselves as they were before, you know? They were such, just side effects of his plan to get himself famous. Which is like really sad because like this should be his main goals. And um, I think everyone, at least like Philip and the others thought that they, those were what, some of his goals. But like now it comes out that they were not. That it was just his fame that he had in mind. And that everything else doesn't seem to mean anything to him. Which is like really sad. But he's gonna come around later on and then um, he's gonna see that those are the things that really have value and his whole fame and stuff thing doesn't. So th th that that's the, uh, gonna be like the story and the lesson of the whole thing. <laughs> but like for now, I, I, also like you saw that Philip was like, it's too visible? What do you mean? Like he actually thought that like, those were some of his girls, and now it comes out like, oh my god, he wants to hide them away again. Because he, now he has something that he can put out there visible without people, like, whispering about him, you know? Oh, he takes his hand off of her. That must have hurt. That must have hurt really bad. <laughs> Guys, who's gonna pay admission if you're out there for all the world to see? Okay, have a great show. That's terrible. That was like just so obviously that he just seems to see them as sticks to his success. And now he gets something better and now he pushes them away. Pushes them out. I I that was that was so hurtful. But it makes this song that's gonna come now gonna happen. And I absolutely love this song. I heard it on repeat so many times when I first heard it. Oh my god. I love this song. I am not a stranger to the dark. Hide away, they say. Cause we don't want your broken parts. I'm learning to be ashamed of all my scars. Run away, they say. 
I won't let them break me down to dust. I know that there's a place for us. Where we are glorious. When the sharpest ones want to cut me down. I'm brave. I am bruised. I am who I'm meant to be. This is me. I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. This is a fucking anthem! This is a fucking anthem of self-love! <laughs> Hell yeah! I love the song. <laughs> Have you no shame? Associating yourself with that Barnum business is one thing. But parading around with the help. Have you no shame, shame, guys? Mother, if this is my place, and I don't want any part of it. Thank you very much! Thank you very much! You know I want you Oh, that's also a very good song. Not a secret, I try. This song was everywhere for a while, right? The world could be yours how does this work? I want to know how this work. Like, why did it go down now and not earlier? Like, earlier it was just like, really loose. I love Zendaya's voice. Then we ride the stars And then you say you'd be mine This is awesome Can someone tell me if she actually did that? Like that Zendaya actually did those things like That's awesome This looks so awesome That seems really dangerous to do to break in my hands or tie. That's so sad. But like her reason to like not try it is because they will fail. And I'm like, okay, but like a lot of relationships and stuff and a lot of things are bound to fail. It doesn't mean that you can't enjoy the ride, you know? Like you could at least try. Like this way you never even tried. You could try and maybe it works and Probably, if you think, it probably won't. It probably won't. But, like, you could at least try. Could be fun for a while. Everything ends, uh, ends sometime. If not in life, then in death. <laughs> yes, I'm very morbid. <laughs> My father was treated like dirt. I was treated like dirt. My children will not be. You don't need everyone to love you, Finn. That's never gonna happen, like, yeah, just a few good people need to love you. Like, it's never gonna happen that everyone loves you. That's just not possible, because someone always is not gonna love you. Not even because of you, probably because they have their own problems in their own lives and just like to make take it out on other people to feel better about themselves. That's like, a lot of times that the case. Like, a lot of times it has nothing to do with you. <laughs> so, like, never, it's never go going, everybody's never going to love you. It's enough if a few good people love you. That's enough. That's all you need. Everyone else can go screw themselves. Yeah, but her father's not there. Like he's not even living his dream anymore, you know? His dream was like that show that he made in that costume. That was his dream. And he's not living it anymore. He's like off somewhere else. And he left his family alone and he left his show alone. And the family that he made in that show with that show. She gets closer and closer to him. He's married girl and he has two children. I've given you the world, haven't I? I uh I should go. Um I've become a distraction, I'm sorry, Jenny. No, you should finish. Yeah, yeah. Just another one of your little maggots. Okay. I'm done. Are you really pissed right now? He's married and has two children. You're the one who um, should be like sorry at that moment because you made passes to a man who is married and has two children because he like doesn't go further than that. And says no. And says, I'm going to go home to my wife and my children. You're pissed now? 
He just proved that he's a decent human being. <laughs> when you're careless with other people, Mr. Barnum, you bring ruin upon yourself. I have risked everything. Well, so did I. He never said, hey, do this and we're going to be a thing. He said, hey, do this and you're going to be famous. He delivered on his promises. He never said we're going to be. Yeah, yeah, there was some tension between them, but like he didn't. As far as we know, he has not acted on them. And he just made like his promise like come true do this and you're gonna be famous on this side he never said hey do this for me this tour and then we're gonna be a thing <laughs> like he never said that why are you pissed now he has a wife and two children you should have known better <laughs> that's it <laughs> just because he doesn't betray his wife and ruin his marriage and his whole family wow and she just ruined his, uh, hurt his marriage. Like he never acted on that. But now she kissed him in front of the characters and his wife is gonna know. And he just didn't want to ruin his marriage and hurt his children. And she was, wow, that's gonna seem like you did me. That sounds an awful lot like hum the, the news of uh, him kissing, kissing that, uh, like the picture with uh, her kissing him is, did not yet reach her. He was faster than that picture. Yeah, Philip ran in there for you. He's running in there for Philip. <laughs> Proving like that he really does have a good head and they like those people are really are his family. He carried Philip out there. <laughs> but I love that like he realized by himself that what he like left behind like his family and um Yeah. <laughs> his extended family <laughs> like that they are like more important to him what he left behind than like anything on that tour i really loved it like kind he re kind of realized that by himself like without anyone having to like tell him that and that he like stopped the tour and went straight back to his family and then Went even like inside that building and ran to uh, to get Philip out to get like his extended family out of there. I love it. I love it. But of course, like him leaving like in the first place has like consequences. Another critic might have even called it a celebration of humanity. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's what I said like in the beginning. Like it's kind of what I said. Like he said it with better words. <laughs> He said it much, much nicer than I did. He's like better with worse than I am. I would have said yes. I never minded the risk, but we always did it together. I see, I see her point. Yeah, there are the consequences of your early actions. I mean, you got turned around now, but yeah, like you still went in the wrong direction and made some wrong choices. So those are your consequences. And uh, now you're probably at rock bottom at the moment. And from that, you can rise up like a phoenix. Because we need our characters always to get to rock bottom before they can like rise up like a phoenix with a new worldview. If you've come to get paid, the money's gone. All of it. They don't care about the money. Shut Let's up, Barnum. You just don't get it. Our own mothers were ashamed of us. Hit us our whole lives. Then you pull us out of the shadows. And now you're giving up on us too. Yeah, that's what I said. You are a fraud. Maybe it was just about making a buck. But you gave us a real family. But also, like, they also said what I said earlier. Because <laughs> from that rubble, what remains can only be what's true. We're rising up like a phoenix again. But those were someone else's dreams. The pitfalls of the man I became. Yeah, he only wanted that show. From now on, these eyes would not be blinded by the lights. Yeah, he got blinded by all the fame and everything that he got and all that glitter and lights. And now he's reminded of what was really important and what it all was all for in the first place. I love it. Yeah, I get your family. Like his family, his, his wife never cared about any of that. His children never cared about any of that. 
those people never cared about any of that. Even F Philip didn't care about any of that anymore. Like after he met the people. <laughs> Wanted to be more than I was. But you were enough in the beginning. Yeah, like even that poor life was totally enough for her. Uh Damn it. <laughs> really sorry to disappoint you all. Don't worry, Bonham. We've gotten used to it by now. <laughs> and now thanks to you, all that's gone. <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> Real estate in Manhattan is a terrible investment. Wait. I can get land down by the docks for almost nothing. All we need is a tent. And that's how a circus started. <laughs> they have the beginning of a circus. <laughs> Hell yeah. And that's what he dreamed about in the beginning. How do you train the uh, lions to jump through fire hoops? That's my question. Yeah, your turn, darling. Stop us now. It come. There's so many colors. I love it. Ah, oh, he's coming on an elephant. That's awesome. But the poor elephant, it must, he must, it must be freezing, because in his normal habitat, it doesn't snow, <laughs> doesn't get cold. Yeah, finally, guys. Woo, you go. Is that his other daughter? <laughs> Is she a tree? <laughs> Is this other daughter a tree? <laughs> the noblest art is that of making others happy. I like that. Okay, so what's the moral of the whole story? Don't get blinded by all the glory and all the fame and all the big things that... and all the money and all the things that are in the end so not important. Like focus on the important stuff in life. The stuff that like if you die you will look back on. Family, friends, people connections <sighs> yeah <laughs> at least like that's the moral that i got from the story right <laughs> right in the comments if you got any other moral from that story <laughs> um also being different is a good thing not a bad thing screw what other people are saying be yourself <laughs> that's also a moral i got from that story so <laughs> Write in the comments what you got from that story. Um, the Greatest Showman almost did it. It almost made me cry. I was like really close. My eyes were watering. There were just no tears coming down, but like my eyes were already watery. So um, The Greatest Showman almost did it, even though I've already watched it before, but it was just so beautiful. <sighs> yeah, it was just so beautiful. Um, I absolutely love this movie. <laughs> I'm very sorry for your ears because I sang a lot. <laughs> Uh, but I just also love their songs. They're so good. Everything about this movie is awesome. I really enjoy this movie. I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah. What's your opinion to The Greatest Showman? Is, do you say, yeah, it's totally awesome or is it like not your thing? Um, tell me about it in the comments. And yeah, other than that, I hope I will see you in the next video again. Until then, bye guys!